Why are you being so nice to me? It's my job. You're my boss. I'm supposed to be nice. No, I mean, you, you really, you've, you know, you've gone above and beyond, and you, you didn't have to. This job is really not that great. Beats busting tables. Oh, Plus, I kind of dig the whole trial scene. Even if you're working for the enemy? <laughs> enemy, why? Because you're going after David Hayward's killer? That's just your job, right? Go for the conviction. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You know what I saw? You and Colby together for the first time. I was so sure that you weren't going to last. Thanks. I was wrong. I'm sorry. I think my hearing is going. Could you say that again? You're so passionate about Colby. And, uh, that's why you made it work. Despite how much I, I hated you, I really did admire your dedication. I think you're right. That dehydration is getting to you. No, I actually just meant everything I just said. Real sorry about your mom. What Caleb did to her. I can't even imagine what it's like to not be able to tell anyone about it. And it makes it a little bit harder when everyone's always telling you what a great guy he is. You know, you never told me how you found out the explosion wasn't an accident. And why were they so sure it wasn't an accident? <laughs> how lame do you think I am? Excuse me? You don't care about me or my mom. You just want the details to use against Caleb. You're the one that brought it up. I'm not ready to expose him. Yet. And until I am, that's all you get. So you're just gonna sit on it? You're gonna let it fester up? I'm waiting until he settles into his new life. And when he's on top of the world, that's when I'm gonna tell the world that he killed his own kid's mother. I want him to know what it feels like to lose everything. All right, I'm gonna go back to the office and type this up. Thanks. Exhale. Breathe deep. There you go. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. You know what you need? Mm. You need to relax. You need to close your eyes for just a few minutes. Take a little 20-minute breather. Yeah, that sounds great. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that. Too you much need to, do. to relax, Jackson, okay? Seriously. And why did you call Erica and, and, and take her out to lunch? I'll consider that notion. Do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Crystal. Do you remember something else? No, I just wanted to thank you again. I mean, this is the most difficult trial of my career. The one with the most at stake and the one I've had the least time to prepare for. So all your help and your support are quite invaluable to me. Thank you. Well, you're a good man, Jackson. And I'm proud to work for you. It was a bad time in my life, and Pete was there for me. I know that Palmer could be a very difficult man, but if he cared about you, you were in trouble. There's no one you'd rather have on your side. Yeah, that's all true. Palmer put us together for a reason, Caleb, and not just to run Cortland Electronics. I think it's very clear that Palmer was invested in getting you to stop hiding on that mountain. I wasn't hiding. He wanted you to have a life. He wanted you to have a future. So I'm sure that's why he put us together in such close proximity. He wanted me to draw you out. But I want to tell you something, Caleb. I have neither the time nor the patience to make you a project. I just want to do what Palmer asked. Well, Pete certainly had a sense of humor, didn't he? You want to ask me a question? Go ahead. You told me about Sonia, the woman you loved. 
Did she die in a fire? So I've, uh, I've drained it dry, I've eaten, I've rested, my dizziness is gone, my headache is gone. Are you happy now? Are you? Yes, I am, as soon as you sign my discharge papers, because now I have to be in court in an hour. You're going to end up right back here if you don't slow down. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I will object from the gallery if I have to. Yeah, you're not going to say anything. I will take my own recess if I need it. Fine. I'll sign your discharge. But if you continue to push yourself... She won't. I won't. Good luck. Thank you. All right, all right, take it easy. Okay, you are not going to monitor my every move. Someone has to. But it's going to cost you. I want to raise. All right, you got it. Now get me my clothes. Drink this first. No, I'm not drinking any more if fluids. If you fight me on this, I will drag that IV into court with you. Okay. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Now, Damon. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Burn down that town. We let it to ashes while the flame fights the chill. Bianca told me that you said something in the hospital after you saved Miranda from the fire here. You said that you were afraid you couldn't get to Sonia. Obviously, I know you meant Miranda, but something must have triggered a memory. <clears throat> you just have to trust me. It's uh, not something that you need to know. And it won't affect our business. Caleb, believe me, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just, I just want to be done with this. I just... It's open. Am I interrupting? No, not at all. Just came to take my fiancé at lunch. If you can tear yourself away. Well, of course. Of course I can. Caleb and I are finished here for today. Good. Got the phone call. And it sounded urgent. Is everything okay with AJ? It will be. Well, what, what do you mean? Have you spoken with him yet today? Marissa's keeping tight custody of him right now, but not for long. If that bastard Caleb Cortland thinks he's going to take my son from me, he's got a big surprise coming. I don't understand. What does is, what is sharing custody with Marissa have to do with Caleb Cortland? He's trying to use the nanotech theft to get Cortland back and destroy Chandler in the process. No, I mean, what does Caleb Cortland have to do with you being a good father to your son? Dad, he's trying to cripple me professionally. Probably to build a case against me in family court. Oh, great. So I get a panic phone call from you, who I love more than anything. I drop everything I'm doing, come running over here like a bat out of hell, so you can fill me in on your private little war with Caleb? Which I'll win. If we get to him first. We? <laughs> get to him how? I need you to dig up everything and anything you can find on Caleb's past. I have reason to believe that he stayed hidden in the woods to avoid troubles with the law. Criminal charges.
you don't want to do that. Hell, I don't. Listen to me, okay? You're your father's son. You're just as brilliant at running that company as he was. You'll be just as effective at saving it as he would be. But you don't have to resort to his tactics to do it. To mudslinging and blackmail. Forget it. So you just want Caleb to walk all over me? No. I want you to seize this situation as a chance to be the kind of man that I know you can be. You have no idea what he's capable of. I don't care what he's capable of. I only care about what you're capable of. And it's better than this. It's fine. You don't want to help me get the dirt on Caleb? I'll find someone else who will. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, son. You're on your own.